Very well, ladies and gentlemen. So we are really, really gonna kill it in this episode. Well, we're gonna we have a lots and lots of uh, you know transfer rumors and news in this episode for you guys. So many players linked with Arsenal. Why Arsenal want to sign another player? Because they're really going it for the kill. They would want to get this Premier League title this season, or probably something that they're eyeing that they would want. And for that, one thing that they would require is reinforcements in certain parts of the field. And they're looking at certain players. We're going to talk about a lot of players in this episode. So if you seek regular Arsenal corner, the best place to be considered subscribing. And if we don't, if we don't have to wait, let's talk about the update. So um, from the handbrake of podcast, Adrian Clark says that um, I have heard whispers. I won't announce it here. I have heard whispers of one particularly exciting, friendly uh, that we might see at Emirates Stadium in. December before we play West Ham. So yes, before Arsenal play West Ham, they are going to face, they have a friendly uh, plan as well. Who and what we will come to know in this, uh, in the upcoming, uh, yeah, in the upcoming days. Let's see who would that be. Let me know what you guys think about it. Who would that be? Which team would Arsenal face in a friendly at the Emirates? Let me know what are your, uh, what are your suggestions and let me know what you guys think about that. Moving on, so look who's back in training. Well, Mohamed and Lenny, and of course, Alexander Zinchenko. Yes, Alexander Zinchenko is back as well, but no Matt Turner uh, confirms Simon Collings at training. So Aaron Ramsdale is likely to start. And of course, not only that, Emil Smithrow is also missing alongside Matt Turner. Those are the only, only people that missed the training. But we move on, don't we? We just have to move on, isn't it? So. If you check out this stat, this stat is actually which centre backs have added the most value through the ball progression across the Europe. Well, you could see amongst the top burners. Well, there is uh, Roger Ibanez and there is, uh, you know, uh, more players. But Gabriel Magalhaes, Gabriel Magalhaes is actually actually up there. Well, put some respect on Gabriel Magalhaes' name. That's what I would want to tell. Well, according to Telegraph, Mikel Arteta will be backed in the January transfer window as Edu wants to bring in one player to give Arsenal a lift for the second half of the season with the aim to maintain the pace that has taken them to the top of the Premier League. So yes, January window, as usual, will not be a boring one. This would bring some people, some players into that Arsenal squad. Well, we got talking about Reese Nelson. Uh, well, Ian Wright had this to say. He says that... I thought Reese would go on loan again, but even at the start of this season, when we went to Germany for pre-season, Reese was there, and I'm not even joking. He took, he looked energized and smiling, and like somebody who had the talk with Arteta. Well, he might have had a talk. Who knows? Who knows? But that performance against Nottingham Forest to replace Bukayo Saka has been exceptional really exceptional well talking about more stuff let's talk about the player from red bull salzburg okafor yes according to calcimercado.com arsenal have reportedly jumped ahead of ac milan to sign okafor from salzburg yes but also let's talk about rio ferdinand who he thinks will finish in the top four he says uh, it will be arsenal man united man city are the three ones i'd put my house on now and then the fourth one i couldn't pick newcastle could come in there and take it wow Looks like people are believing in the downfall of Liverpool, man. What do you guys think uh, will happen in the top four race this season? Let me know in the comments. I will be reading them and definitely reacting to them as well. But moving on, well, Arsenal are one of the several Premier League clubs interested in Martin Terrier ahead of January transfer window. Arsenal have sent scouts in the last two weeks to see the player. Ren will demand a club record fee in the excess of 3030 million pounds. Well, from Graham Bailey. So let's see. Also, agent of Mesut Ozil says his client Kerem Akhtar Koglu will play in the Premier League, and Arsenal or Arteta are an ideal fit for him. That's why our tribal football exclusive news. Let's see whether that will happen or not. But more importantly, Shakhtar uh, player who's a goalkeeper, Anthony Thurubin, he he speaks about Mikhail Mudrik. He says all these transfer rumors affect him only in a positive way. 
because he enjoys what he does and in the team we can tell him we'll well you're already at arsenal let's all go what wow anyways according to rodri vasquez well we got an update regarding facundo torres uh, we can talk about that uh, well uh, the report is such that there is a possibility for Facundo Torres to move to Arsenal, but it will not be in the next transfer window, which is January, but it could be the summer transfer window. Next week, the players' representative Edgardo, Edgardo La Salvia will meet Arsenal at the moment. Nothing is ahead. So we don't move quickly. We just wait and wait. That's all we do right now. Yeah, we don't be in a hurry. Let's hope we don't. Well, talking about Okafor, talking about a lot of stuff. Well, we just, I'm just hoping to see Emil Smithrow back in full training because Bukayo Saka was seen in full training as well. But Mike McGrath says Kieran Tierney could leave Arsenal. He says Kieran Tierney is the last man standing from Unai Emery's first team arrivals and it looks inevitable that he will attract interest from clubs as he is currently starting only in Europa League games. Mikel Arteta would welcome a winger in January to add competition in the forward areas but he all was he has also looked at a central midfielder but Aston Villa's Douglas Luiz is no longer available Palmeiras Danilo has also been considered in the central role well yes he will be backed by Edu in the second half of the campaign let's see if they can maintain the pace or not but more importantly former Arsenal goalkeeper Vito Manon on his Instagram stories uh, well he plays for uh, OGC Nice uh, he's now at uh, FC Lorraine so he reunited with Aaron Ramsey so yes good to see you good to meet you again my friend well that is really really great isn't it fantastic well we spoke about Facundo Torres let's talk about Alex Alejandro Grimaldo yes you know this player this fullback which was linked to us but but apparently we went for Alexander Zinchenko what happened to him well there's an update regarding that we're gonna talk about it so According to Court Offside, well, Fabrizio Romano spoke about it. Well, yes, he says that Grimaldo was offered to Arsenal last summer, but they decided to proceed with Zinchenko as their priority target. Yes, Zinchenko was their priority target. Now many clubs are following him as it's a big opportunity on the market. That is why I caught offside. Well, yes, it might be for Grimaldo. Maybe Arsenal are not looking at Grimaldo at the moment, but... Here is Europe's top five leagues team of the week from 28th to 31st of October. Well, you will find Reese Nelson in that list. Yes, only Reese Nelson making from Arsenal. Well, there is Yusuf Atal, there is Mario Rui, Alvu, Stefan De Vrij, Soria, Maximilian Arnold, M M uh, Mecha, Terrier, Eric Chopomoting, and of course Victor Rosemann. But for, but Reese Nelson scored a nine pointer for whoscored.com. That's really crazy, isn't it? So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you see daily Arsenal content, the best place to be. Consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Until then.